What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today... Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. up! The emotion, the power... And then it just explodes! <laughs> okay. What's up guys, welcome back. My name is Sean and today we're going to be reacting to Extraordinary Heroes with Crack in the Mirror and Ghost. So guys, we are finally back with some more Extraordinary Heroes. We're getting into the last two B-sides from their Overload album, which already has been an incredible album with Xmas, Haircut, and the two other B-sides reacted to last time. This is such a good album with a really big variety of music still within the rock genre and i think that's an that's a thing that extended heroes are really really excelling at at least with all of the music they've released so far is taking not just different rock sub genres and and doing them but also adding their own spice and color to each of those songs so we do sometimes have songs like last time where we had uh, songs that were a little bit more like generic rock something that you would normally recognize being you know the typical rock you listen to but we also have other songs like well like xmas like haircut that are completely out there well i wouldn't say completely out there it's still very obviously rock but they, it's just so different it's something that you've it's almost only extended heroes that does music like that so it's it's really cool to me i'm excited to get into these last two b-sides from extended heroes overload so let's get right into the first one crack in the mirror Liking the power behind this. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, the little change here. Pace. That's a cool way to retransition into the verse. Okay. Woo. Oh, that's a cool stop for the for the bomb to fall. Oh. The Brana note. Damn. Oh. Okay. They, this album is really Halloween-y, eerie. Oh, that note. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that outro was really dope here at the end. Damn, Extendary Heroes with Crack in the Mirror. This album is dope. Like, we have so many songs like this where I feel like they have been in... 
they have just done so well in incorporating the theme of Halloween in this album. So many of the songs have a small tiny bit of eeriness, a small tiny bit of Halloweenness over the uh, over the music, but it's in no way or form overpowering for the song. So it's still very much just a it's still very much just a rock song, not a Halloween song, but it just has some of those elements, you know, because of the time it was released. I think it was released like around the Halloween time, right? Yeah, it, it was in the middle of November, but still, it's it's incredible. I absolutely adore the music. Crack in the Memo just being another great, great example of their, their musical prowess when it comes to the rock feel and man they are incredible i'm i'm still i'm just hoping for for them to come to europe as soon as possible so that i can that i can actually uh, re or, or watch them live because damn they are good let's get right into the uh the last one of the album extendary heroes ghost again this is what i'm saying but this one is also called Ghost, but... Okay. Okay. Man, that music is so panic at the disco, so green, like so much. The old 2000s rock. Mm. Oh. It's an interesting, it's like almost an EDM build. Ooh. Oh. What is this? Is this like a soundtrack to a movie or what? The vocals there, wow. Oh, coming in with the rap. Down as well. This is so good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Yo, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Best of you, okay. Wow. Okay, that was the outro. Damn! Excellent Heroes Ghost. I mean, I, what what do I even have to say anymore about about this group? They they are incredible. Like I feel, I just feel like they are perfect for carrying the torch. As I said uh, earlier, Panic at the Disco, Green Day. It's the music I I or I feel like a lot of people used to listen to back in what is that not the beginning of the two thousands or maybe it's closer to two thousand and ten and stuff, but. That, that was some incredibly, incredibly good music, uh, like, and, and so different at that time. And I feel like Extreme Heroes are perfect for carrying that torch because they have a lot of the same elements from their rock or their type of rock. But no, no, Extreme Heroes are not the same. They have so many other different elements that they are including in that kind of, that really does make it their own color of, of music. And I, I don't know, I just absolutely love it. They, I don't know who writes their songs, if they write it themselves or if, if there's other people writing them. But whoever Whoever writes the song have such a good idea of of how to create music or how to create a musical color just for a group like X. It's it's so damn good. Yeah, guys, that was Extraordinary Heroes with Crack in the Mirror and Ghost. A a good, really, really good way to end of an amazing album called well called Overload. They 
are incredible. They have, there's so much going on when it comes to, to this group and their music. So many change-ups, so many instrumentals that are used, so many vocal talents that are, are used. It's, it's just like it's so incredible to me that we have a, a group like this that creates music like this and, and, and it's actually within the k-pop world that's that's even more baffling to me because obviously they are nowhere near what you would normally consider k-pop or maybe or even k-rock it's so out there it's so different and i i absolutely love it it's such a it's, it's such a multi-talented group and i uh, I'm just excited for more music when it when it comes. For now, let me know what you guys thought about x Heroes, Craig and Amira, and Ghost down in the comments below. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>